Jeremy Veldman with the Memphis Astronomical Society. Today is August 21, 2016, exactly one year to the day before the Great American Eclipse of August 21, 2017. I'm in Perryville, Missouri, about an hour south of St. Louis, and it's a beautiful day. It's about 10.30, a couple hours from totality, and you can see above me the sun in a clear blue sky, a few fair weather clouds, but for the most part, very good observing conditions. Now, we're one year away from the eclipse, never too early to start planning. So I'm gonna show several clips today, August 21, 2016, along the path of totality, so you can get an idea of what the weather could be like one year from today. Now, past results are no indication of future performance. So make sure you check the weather if you wanna see this event about a week before it actually occurs next August. But Perryville, the weather has been clear here the last six years. It's clear today. Yesterday it did rain and it was cloudy. We've had a week of bad weather, but it cleared up about seven o'clock this morning. So if it's looking good today, our chances are good for next year. But anyway, let's go now and I'm gonna show you several other points along the path of totality within an hour or two of this location, Perryville, Missouri. And let's hope for clear skies next year. All right, you can see a map here of the path of totality. It's about a 62 mile wide swath across the country. If you look on the map, this is Missouri. We are currently right here, Perryville. We're gonna go up I-55 a little bit. We're gonna cut over, we're gonna get to St. Genevieve, right on the center line. Then we're gonna head over to Chester. Again, right on the center line, just south of the Mississippi River. And then we're gonna head out to Carbondale and eventually Hopkinsville. This is in the path of totality, right across the country. It's only about a 62 mile wide zone though, so you gotta get in the zone of totality if you wanna see this event. I-55, on our way to St. Genevieve, right in the center line in the path of totality. It's just shy of 11 o'clock, August 21, 2016. Looking good. St. Genevieve. St. Genevieve, Missouri, right on the center line, August 21, 2016. It's about 11.30 a.m., so roughly an hour and a half away from totality in one year. You can see uh, we got a Catholic school here, football stadium. There's a cemetery to my left, wide open spaces. Duration here is about 2 minutes and 40 seconds, so very close to the point of maximum duration. St. Genevieve, Missouri. August 21, 2016, one year to the day before totality of the Great American Eclipse. And you can see the sun right now in the sky, clear blue sky. So if it's like this in one year, we're looking good. So we're on the road between St. Genevieve and Chester, on the way to Chester. A lot of these roads are very narrow with no shoulder. Same thing when you're on your way to St. Genevieve, which is right on the center line. So you want to have a spot where you can get off. You don't want to be on the road and have to get off inadvertently or at the spur of the moment in order to see the event. You want to have a spot to get off because there's really not a whole lot, a whole lot of places to get off. Not a bad stretch of road between St. Genevieve and Chester, real close to Chester. Good news is it's wide open. Bad news is there's no shoulder. So not a lot of places to get off. Okay, so we're getting close to Chester, just north of Perryville, right on the center line, path of totality. You can see some wide open spaces over there, which are really good for viewing the eclipse. We'll go ahead and show you those in a minute. Okay, we're just south of Chester before you cross the Mississippi River. A lot of wide open spots for viewing the eclipse, right by this gas station, this Conoco. Again, I apologize for the wind noise. Wide open cornfields. And we're just outside of Chester. We're about 20 minutes from Perryville. August 21, 2016, exactly one year to the day before the eclipse. In fact, totality is about an hour from right now. So this is a prime spot also for viewing the eclipse. This Conoco station, right just south of Chester, the Mississippi River and what I like about this spot 
is you've got a wide open horizon, very few trees or any other obstacles blocking your view. So experientially, it'll be much more profound because you not only see the dark sun and the corona, but you'll also see the deep twilight along the horizon. And um, as far as being immersed into the moon's shadow, this is a spot. This is a prime spot for experiencing the maximum effect of the total solar eclipse. One year to the day from right now, almost to the hour, August 21, 2017. All right, we're in Chester, Illinois, August 21, 2016. One year to the day before the total solar eclipse of August 21, 2017. It's one o'clock, so we are less than 20 minutes from totality. And you can see what the weather looks like. Clear blue sky, sun nearly above me. Now we did have a cloud in front of the sun less than an hour ago. So all it takes is one to ruin everything. But today has been a good day. August 21, 2017, or 16. <laughs> one year to the day before the total solar eclipse. Chester, of course, is right on the center line very near the point of maximum duration. So this is a prime spot to target. So it's 1.32 in the afternoon, August 21, 2016, 12 minutes after totality. This is what I'm worried about. Again, the sun is out, it's a clear day, but all you need is a stray cloud or two and the show is over. So even though at 1.20 on August the 21st, 2016, it was clear and you would have seen the eclipse. Um, here we are 12 minutes later, we've got clouds covering the sun. And we've had this a couple times in the last hour between 12.30 and 1.30. So just fair warning, um, even a partly cloudy day can, can ruin everything. All right, heading to Carbondale between Chester and Carbondale, about 2.30 in the afternoon. Mostly clear, you still see a few puffy white clouds. Uh, but overall, it's been a really nice day, August 21, 2017, or 16, one year to the date before the Great Eclipse of 2017. Okay, we're in Carbondale. It's a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon, August 21, 2016 again, one year to the date before the solar eclipse. Behind me, they're going to pack the stadium out one year from today, and they're actually going to be showing footage of the eclipse as it passes across the country on the jumbotron behind me. So again, Carbondale is kind of ground zero for the eclipse. Here we are, August 21, 2016, one year to the date before the event. And again, it's a little after four o'clock in the afternoon, a few puffy white clouds, but for the most part, it's been a clear day as we've shown footage throughout the path of totality. So there's a lot that's gonna go on right here in Carbondale, Southern Illinois University, one year from today. So this is another great spot to view the event. Okay, so it's Monday, August 22, 2016. First day of class, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. And of course, this is the spot where the Great American Eclipse is gonna be observed in exactly one year. Now it's August 21, 2017 is when the eclipse is gonna occur. But that's on a Monday, and this is Monday, August 22. And you can see kind of what the sky is like. Now we have sun out today, but it's peeking in and out through the clouds. So yesterday was a clear day, August 21, 2016. Today, August 22, 2016, it's cloudy. And it's about one o'clock right now, so we're 20 minutes from totality. So this is the kind of day it is, about one year to the day before the eclipse. So I definitely want to keep an eye on the weather as you make plans to observe this event. Okay, we're driving back. It is Monday, August 22, 2016. Wear my Popeyes hat that I picked up in Chester. Forgot to bring sunblock, forgot to bring a baseball cap. So there you go. Anyway, we showed you several clips along the path of totality. Yesterday, August 21, 2016, one year to the date before the Great American Eclipse of next year. In general, the weather was clear in all the spots. A few puffy clouds here and there, but it was mostly clear in St. Genevieve, Chester, Perryville, Carbondale, all hot spots along the path of totality. Today, 
It's about 1.20 in the afternoon, Monday, August 22. Clouds are rolling in. This is about the time that the eclipse would occur in one year if it were to be on this day. So something to keep in mind. We had clear conditions yesterday, uh, but we're getting cloud cover today. So it would be a risky day to observe the eclipse today. Now, never too early to start planning your plan B. I'm targeting Perryville, Missouri as my plan A, getting north toward the center line. If that doesn't work, I'm heading to St. Joe. St. Joseph's is on the west side of Missouri. They're holding a big event there as well, and the weather has been clear there 19 out of the past 20 years. In general, in terms of weather, the further east you go, the riskier it gets in terms of cloud cover. The further west you go, the more favorable it gets statistically, which is why a lot of veteran eclipse chasers are targeting Wyoming and Eastern Oregon to, to view this eclipse. So the advantage we have living in Memphis is we can target a lot of different locations from just south of St. Louis all the way to Hopkinsville, just north of Nashville. So there's several options. But again, keep an eye on the weather at least a week before the eclipse and make your decision about where to go if you want to see this. Um, you've seen the weather today, one year in advance before the eclipse, August 21, 2016. Once again, was clear in Perryville, as well as the surrounding areas, Chester, St. Genevieve, Carbondale. So yesterday was a good day to view the eclipse. Today, not so much. We did have rain the prior week. We've got rain coming in the next couple of days. So it looks like we had a little bit of a break in the weather this year. Um, so it would be a little nervous if we were trying to anticipate where to go to see it this year. Anyway, just something to think about. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, just wanna say past results are no indication of future performance in terms of weather. So take this as a, as a guide, but make sure that if you wanna see the total solar eclipse of August 21, 2017, that you keep an eye on, on the weather at least a couple of days before you go and have a couple of different options as far as where to go. Jeremy Veldman with the Memphis Astronomical Society, and let's hope for clear skies next year.